you saw Lindsay right there. This all comes at a time as Congress is started investigating the deadly riot. The world watched last week as Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn described the racism he was confronted with as he defended the Capitol back on January 6th. Yeah, Dunn was among four officers who testified before the committee investigating the riot, and tonight he's talking with Fox 5's Lindsay Watts. More about that. Lindsay? Angie and Jim, a lot of eyes on that hearing. Officer Dunn says now more people are stopping him at the Capitol, stopping him at Costco to thank him, to tell him they support him. But there's also been more of that racism and ugliness he described to lawmakers last week. It was a lot of pressure, uh, but it, it needed to be done, and I'm, uh, I'm grateful that I did it. In his testimony, Officer Harry Dunn laid out the racist attacks he and other black officers endured on January 6th. No one had ever, ever called me a while wearing the uniform of a Capitol Police officer. He also called for lawmakers to look into former President Trump's role in the riot. Even as that hearing was happening. I wish they would have killed all you scumbags. D.C. officer Mike Fanone says he got a nasty, threatening voicemail that's now being investigated by the FBI. Have you gotten any threats to that level? Um, not, not to that level. Um, a bunch of hate mail. Uh, whatever. There's been racist messages, including one with a noose, posted in online forums. Dunn says he does his best to stay away from the hate. People want to talk about you, but nobody wants to talk to you. Okay. Yeah. I'm available to talk if anybody wants to talk. I'll have those conversations. He says talking is therapeutic for him, and he's been open about the importance of mental health, especially for police. He says it was his own psychologist who helped him recognize his post-traumatic stress. So when you have PTS, um, I don't look at it as a disorder because you're still going and you're still getting up every day and facing the world even when so many people are saying what you went through didn't exist or it wasn't that bad. So, so I look at PTS, PTS as a, a badge of strength. As Capitol Police remain short-staffed, Dunn says he and others are working six to seven-day weeks. He says his rock in all of this is his nine-year-old daughter. You know, it's weird because she's a small human. <laughs> she just brings me such peace and some cal calmness. You know, it's great being around her. You know, she hugs me a little tighter. I hug her a little tighter. I love seeing those photos. As for the select committee investigating the insurrection, Dunn says even if it leads to nothing, he's okay with it as long as lawmakers take it seriously. Back to you.